Hey you guys, I'm trying to pin something. We're gonna get started in just a couple minutes. Pin. Woo! All right, I figured it out. Is there anything else that I'm supposed to do? Um, hi guys. Welcome. Okay, I think that's all. Cool, cool, cool. Um, if you, you're always more than welcome to listen to your own music. You're gonna hear me make this announcement. 300 times over the course of the next three minutes, but uh, you're always welcome to listen to your own music. Um, but if you do want uh, the playlist that I've created, you can either find it, I think, on Chelsea Pierce's Spotify or on my Spotify. Uh, my Spotify is A Meg Sano, spelled the same way as the pinned video or the pinned uh, comment on your screen. A M A G S A N O, and the playlist is called Chelsea Pierce 6 4. I G live. Okay, cool. Um, awesome. Okay, I think that's all. support so go ahead and grab some blocks um, sometimes two water bottles or two cans can help as uh, a little bit of extra height underneath your hands um, we're gonna get started in just a couple minutes who we got here so fun So if you're just joining and you don't know what you joined for, we're about to do a 50 minute uh, vinyasa flow class. So get your yoga mat, get on some stretchy pants, <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and get started soon. Um, yeah, that's all we got. Yes. Laughter. Stretchy pants are funny. <sighs> Alright, you guys. I'm gonna give it one more second here. If you are ready to get started, just go ahead and find your mat. Make sure that you have something to drink, a glass of water or something else, whatever you need. <laughs> um, water's recommended. All right, <laughs> hey Jen. All right, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome to Chelsea Piers IG Live. My name is Alyssa. Um, we are going to be doing a 50 minute vinyasa flow class. Uh, if you want to play your own music, you are always more than welcome to, but I have also created a playlist that you can use. You can find it on my Spotify or the Chelsea Pierce Spotify under Chelsea Pierce 64 IG Live. That's the name of it on my Spotify. And you can find my Spotify by going to my name, which is tagged, uh, pinned, rather, in the comment section. All right, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Yogis, as always, this practice is entirely yours. Make any modifications uh, that you choose. Make any uh, adjustments that feel best inside of your body. Take breaks whenever you need. The practice is always entirely your own, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get started laying down on our backs today. So go ahead and find a nice 
nice comfy reclined position. And we're going to be working a little bit more into the hips. So if you prefer, you can bring the soles of your feet together, open your knees nice and wide. And when you come back to lay down, bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And uh, if open hips doesn't feel good to you, you could just extend your legs out long. And then I'm going to sit up so that you don't have an unfortunate angle. <laughs> um, and we'll go ahead and close our eyes and find our breath. If you're following along with my playlist, yogis, you're going to click onto Lost in Thought by John Hopkins in three, two, one. All right, you guys, go ahead and close your eyes. One hand is on your heart, one hand is on your belly. And then just really take a moment to settle down into your stillness. There's so much noise, so much chaos, so much stimulation going on all around us these days. And especially now, it's incredibly difficult to anchor to our breath, to the present moment. And unlike most yoga classes where the teacher says, leave all of that behind, leave all of that outside the door, that might not necessarily be that accessible in our current times. But for the next 50 minutes, see if you can intentionally find ways to breathe bigger breaths inside of your body, to feel into whatever it is that you are feeling, and to see if there are some places that are really tight and held and how you have the control, the power, to release them inside of your own body. We may not have control over anything else, but we do have control over ourselves. Wherever you are, go ahead and let go of it. Exhale, emptying everything inside out, S-H. And then from the base of your belly to the very top of your heart, draw in a full deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Two more just like that, yogis. Inhale, feel your bottom palm rise, your top palm rise. Exhale, press it out, let it spill. And then third and final, my friends, go ahead and breathe a big deep breath in from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head. And see if you can let some of the junk, some of the stale air go. Yogis, this is the breath that you keep with you for the next 50 minutes. Like I said before, take breaks when you need this practice is absolutely yours. On your next breath in, yogis, go ahead and reach your arms up above your head. Kick your heels out nice and long. Take a big, juicy morning stretch, pulling your ribs out of your hips. Inhale, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> one more like that, laying flat on your back. One more big breath in. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, let it all go. <sighs> nice, you guys. Go ahead and pick your two knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug, a squeeze. Wrapping your arms around your shins and then just take a gentle rock from side to side, massaging your low back onto the ground. Good. And then yogis, go ahead and bring your two soles of feet down flat onto the mat. Cross your right ankle over top of your left thigh. You're coming into a reclined figure four pose. Take a hold of your left leg, lifting the left foot off the mat and then press your right knee away from you using your right elbow. Keep the back of the head flat onto the ground, and then yogis, go ahead and take a great big breath in. Press that right knee away from you as you breathe out. Make sure your tailbone is still flat onto the ground. One more just like that. Inhale, breathe in fully. Exhale, press it out completely. That's it, you guys. Go ahead and slide your left foot down onto the ground. Take your right big toe into your two piece fingers, and then pull your right knee out towards the right hand side. Lift the left leg up towards the sky and then extend the left leg out long in front of you. You're coming into a half happy baby. Try to really find length along your left, uh, your right inner thigh. Really try to squeeze it wide across your right side body. Pull the knee into the armpit, flex deeply through the foot, take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Take one more inhale. And one more exhale. Yogis, keep your right knee bent, bring the knee in towards the chest, and then drop the right knee over towards the left hand side, pressing your uh, left hand onto your right thigh, and pressing your right shoulder down onto the ground. Find space all across your chest, take a great big breath in, and 
take a great big breath out. Yogis, one more. Inhale, really try to press that right shoulder down. Exhale, let it all go. All right, my friends, keep that twist going. Listen closely, I'm gonna talk you through it. Continue rolling onto your left side body until you're laying all the way down onto your belly. You basically just flipped over like a pancake. Keep your right knee bent. Now your knee should be in line with your right hip. Yeah, you're coming into a half frog pose. Extend your, femur, uh, your shin bone down towards your heel and then deeply flex through your right foot. Keep your two hands onto the ground, traction your elbows back towards your rib cage, and then pick up through the lower half of your belly. Take a big, great big inhale. And a slow, deep breath out. One more time, yogis, picking up through your heart. Exhale, let it all go. Good, press into your hands, widen through your elbows, lower your face down onto the mat, re-extend your right leg back behind you. Bring your hands in by your breastbones, pick up your heart for baby cobra, breathe in. As you exhale, forehead comes down onto the ground, press into your hands, hips to heels, wide knees, child's pose. Forehead comes down onto the mat, really extend your fingertips long in front of you, allow your elbows to heavy towards the ground, and then yogis breathe into the space at the back of your heart, take a great big breath in. And take a great big breath out. That's it yogis, we're gonna do the same four stretches, but we're gonna take them in reverse. So from your child's pose, look forward between your thumbs. Reach your fingertips as far forward as they can go, lengthening through both sides of your body, and then slowly start to dive all the way down onto your belly. As you inhale, pick up your heart, find baby cobra. Listen closely here. Keep your heart lifted. Just slide your forearms onto the ground. Now you're in your sphinx pose. Press down into your elbows. Press down into your inner wrist creases. Lift up through your heart. Take your left leg. Reach it over towards the left hand side. Peek back at it, making sure that the knee is in line with the hip, the ankle is in line with the knee, and then the toes are flexed behind you. Half frog pose. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Pick up your belly, take one more inhale. Take one more exhale. Yogis, listen closely here. Support your weight on your left forearm. Crawl your right fingertips out long in front of you. From here, you're gonna roll onto your right hand side. You're gonna keep your left leg draping across from you. Extend through your left arm. Now you're in your supine twist. Extend your left shoulder all the way out towards the side of the room. Take a great, big, juicy breath in. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper inside of your spine. Another one just like this, yogis. Inhale fully and exhale completely. Use the strength of your core, my friends. Bring your left knee back in towards your chest. Pull the left knee over towards the left hand side. Flex your left foot. Take a hold of your peace fingers around your left big toe and then pull your knee into your armpit for your half happy baby. Your right hand can stay planted down onto your right hip. You're anchoring it towards the mat. Press your little belly down towards your spine and then breathe your belly up towards the ceiling as you inhale. And let it go as you exhale. So good, yogis. Go ahead and slide your right sole foot down onto the ground. Cross your left ankle over top of your right thigh. Pick your right foot off of the mat and then wrap your hands around your right leg for your figure four stretch. Flex deeply through both of your heels. Peel your left knee away from you, finding a stretch along the back of your left butt bone. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. One more just like that. And exhale, let it go. So lovely, my friends. Go ahead and release your two legs. Pull your two knees in towards your heart. Give yourself a big, tight squeeze. And then start to rock forwards and back, forwards and back, all across the length of your spine until something sits you up all the way up to your sits bones. As you arrive on your sits bones, walk your hands forward. Plug your palms heavy into the ground, stack your shoulders on top of wrists, and then dip into your belly, fan open your heart. Big breath in. As you exhale, press into your palms, lift through your navel, round and curl. Yogi's cat count tilts for the next five breaths. We've already begun to wake up the hips, to open up the spine, to bring some movement into the backs of the legs. But now is the time that you really get to get loosey-goosey with it and start to play around with whatever it is your body is craving inside of these moments. Maybe it's a flip of the wrists. Maybe it's a pawing of the hands back towards your fingers and then forward towards your inner wrist creases. Anything that feels good to you, my friends, you have two more full cycles of breath to move around just like you. All right, yogis, from your tabletop pose, go ahead and tuck your toes. Lift your hips up and back. Come into your downward facing dog. Begin to walk your feet out left and right, shaking your butt up towards the sky, and really starting to paw the hands flat into the ground. Really try to press them out away from you, and then heavy the heel bones all the way far back down behind. 
behind you. Wrap your biceps in toward your face. Hollow out your belly by wrapping your ribs towards your sternum. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Lift your heels, yogis. Bend your knees, look forward. Slowly start to take a walk or a crawl to the front of your mat. Forward fold. As you arrive at the top, grab for opposite elbows and sweep your body from left to right, letting your head dangle nice and heavy. Relax your hands down towards your feet, my friends. Bend into your knees. Slowly start to ripple your spine all the way up to stand. As you arrive at the top, shoulders scrunch up to the ears. Inhale. Exhale, softly roll the shoulders down your spine. Stand at attention, mountain pose. Bring the two soles of feet together, big toes together to touch. Fingers reaching down by your side, reach tall and proud through your chest. Yogis, we begin Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, sweep your fingers up to the sky, look to your thumbs. Exhale, hinge at the hips, dive in down and forward. Pick up your heart, breathe in. As you exhale, hands come down, right foot steps back, left foot steps back, pause in your plank pose. Hollow out your belly, press into your palms, inhale. Shift your shoulders forward, exhale, chaturanga, elbows to ribs. Flip your toes, lift your heart, upward facing dog, shoulder heads back and down. Inhale, roll over your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a great big breath in. Take a great big breath out. Lift your heels up nice and high. Bend your knees, look forward. Walk, step, or float to the front edge of your mat. As you inhale, draw the heart open and forward. As you exhale, melt it down nice and heavy. Bend your knees, ripple your spine all the way up to stand, circling the arms up towards the sky as you rise. Palms press, look at your thumbs. As you exhale, hands to heart center, fingers by your side. Samasthi to heat. Round two, inhale, arms up to the sky, gazes to your thumbs. Exhale, bend, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Halfway lift pulls you up. As you exhale, hands come down, step your two feet back, maybe you float it back. Chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing dog. Yogis, one more round, one breath, one move. Take a big breath in, take a big breath out. Heel bone lift, bend your knees, look forward, walk step, float, front edge of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, melt in heavy. Roll it up, all the way to stand, circling up the sun, catching your thumbs above your gaze. Hands at heart center, fingers by your side. Final round, arms reach up high. Exhale, swan dive, belly over thighs. Halfway lift, pick up the heart. As you exhale, hands come down, hop it back, vinyasa. Travel through your flow. As you arrive in your downward facing dog, yogis, let go of an exhale, empty, empty, empty. Inhale, fill yourself up, big and full. Exhale, let it go. Yogis, from your downward facing dog, kick your right heel up and back behind you. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Take your toes for a wiggle, sit, shake up through your leg. Really start to create space inside of that right femur bone. All right, you guys, you're going to need to listen closely to this one. It's a little bit crazy. Kick your right heel out and back behind you. Listen closely. Slide your knee into your nose. Sweep your right ankle towards your left wrist. And then slide down into your pigeon pose. I know it's early days. We're going to keep this one really, really active. Listen closely here, yogis. Keep your left toes tucked behind you. And then bring your two hands right in front of your shin bones. Press down into the ball of your left foot. Into your two hands. Lift your butt up to the sky. You're coming into this cross-legged pyramid. You should feel a big, deep, juicy stretch all along your right leg. And then try to press your left heel down towards the ground. From here, you're going to rock it straight back into your pigeon pose, bending into the right knee, picking up the belly, lifting up the heart. Keep your toes tucked. We do this three more times. Press into the hands. Lift up your butt. Cross-legged pyramid pose. As you exhale, drop your knee back down. Drop your shin to the mat. Pick up your heart. Two more times. Breath to movement. Hands down. Booties high. Inhale. Exhale, lower it down. <sighs> Inhales to rise. Exhale to fall. Inhale, butt up. Exhale, booty down. All right, yogis, take one big strong breath into your uh, pigeon pose. And then go ahead and keep your hands down. We're gonna come up one more time. This time we're gonna pivot over to the left. So press down into your hands, lift your butt up nice and high, your legs are crossed. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders, lift forward through your heart, and then start to walk to the left side of your mat until you're in a wide-legged forward fold, okay? For this first one, start to rock and roll side to side, getting into your hips. Getting into your knees, swaying from side to side, anything that feels good to you. And then when you're done moving around, yogis, press into your hands, pick up your heart, take a big breath in. Exhale, melt it down nice and heavy. Pick up your heart once again, start to crawl your hands to the front of your mat, to the inside of your right foot. 
As you arrive to the inside of your right foot, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, sink into the bend of your knees and bring your hands to heart center. Yogi, settle down through your tailbone, pick up through your low belly, spread open through your chest, pressing those palms together. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Good, yogis. Press down into your heels. Try not to stick your booty back. Think sacrum down as you squeeze your inner thighs up to stand. Hop your feet together. Release your hands down by your sides, mountain pose. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Circle of the sun, fingertips grow up high. Exhale, swan dive, hinging at the hips and folding. Inhale, halfway lift picks you up. Exhale, hands come down, feet float back, vinyasa. Gorgeous, you guys. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. All right, yogi, same, same, left hand side. Inhale, left heel, up and back behind you. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Remember that the next thing that we're coming into is that pigeon pose. So really start to create some space instead of your left hip joint. Keep putting equal pressure into your left and right hand so that your shoulders stay nice and even facing down towards the ground. And then when you're ready, kick your left heel back behind you. Slide your knee into your nose, pick up your belly. Swing your left ankle toward your right wrist and then slide your shin bone down onto the ground. Remember, your right toes are still tucked behind you. Hands stay low onto the mat, press into your palms, lift your butt up to the sky. Cross-legged pyramid pose. Exhale, drop it let down low. Three more times just like that, yogis, press into your hands, lift your booty up high. As you exhale, open up your head, bend into your knee. Two more, hands down, booties high, use your belly to scoop up. Exhale, let it go all the way down. Third one, inhale, press into your hands, lift your booty up high. Exhale, melt it all the way down. Take a moment to pause, walk your hands in a bit, pick up your heart a bit, take a big breath in. Last one, yogis, hands down, booties high. This time we pause at the top. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Pivot all the way to the right edge of your mat, uh, readjusting your feet for your wide-legged fold. As you arrive in your wide-legged fold, my friends, bend and rock side to side. Do something juicy, do something delicious. Maybe rocking your spine, getting soupy inside of your muscles and your bones. Hmm. From here, yogis, halfway lift, pick up. Exhale, melt it down. Again, inhale, lift up your heart. Walk two hands to the inside of your left foot. You're facing the front of your mat. Step your right foot to meet your love or right hand. And then come into your Malasana squat. Yogi, if your heels are not on the ground, come up a little bit higher. Yeah, no big deal. I want you to protect your knees and your ankles. Use the strength of your belly to lift your heart higher. And then if your knees are nice and open, your hips are feeling good today, you can take your inner elbows and push your knees away from you. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale. So strong, my friends. Heels root down, belly lifts up. You squeeze to straighten all the way up high. Hop your feet together. Lower your hands by your side. Take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more. And let it go. Circle of the sun. Sweep your fingertips up high. Exhale, bow and fold. Let it go. Halfway lift picks your heart up. Hands down, hop it back, vinyasa. Gorgeous yogis from your downward facing dog. Big breath in and big breath out. Hands plant down, my friend. Lift your heel bones up high. Bend your knees, look forward. Walk step, float to the front edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt in heavy. Go ahead and start to separate your feet a little bit wider than hips width distance. So no measurement needed. Just go to a stance that's nice and comfortable for you. From here, plant your left hand down in front of your chest. Bend deeply into your left knee, so much so that your right leg can be as straight as possible. This is one of those places, yogis, that if you have that can, that block, or that water bottle, you might place it underneath your hand if the ground feels really far away, okay? Otherwise, hand is flat onto the mat. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Feel twisting your left ribs forwards towards your right inner thigh. Feel leaning your right shoulder back behind you. Take a great big breath in. Take a great big breath out. Take another inhale. As you exhale, reach your right fingertips forwards over your head, pulling your right butt bone back, and then release your two hands down to the ground. Grab for elbows, sway from left to right. So nice, yogi. Second side, right hand in front of your heart. Right knee bends as deeply as you need it to go in order to keep your left leg straight. Reach your left arm up towards the sky. Pull your right ribs forward. Tilt your left ribs back. Keep extending.
extend it through your left hand. Make sure you can still see your thumb, otherwise you're overextending in your shoulder. Stay broad through the chest. Think of pressing back through your left butt bone. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Take another inhale. Reach up through left fingertips to pull forward, length through the spine. Exhale, melt everything down and heavy. Sway from side to side. All right, yogi's hands come down, heel toe your feet all the way together to touch. On your next breath in, hips drop low, arms reach high, chair pose. Sit down into the hinge of your hips instead of into the bend of your knees. So think booty back, booty back, booty back. Think belly up and in, think tailbone down. Even if your knees aren't as bent, I want more weight back into your heels so that your toes come off the ground. Palms together to touch above the head. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Another inhale. As you exhale, bow and fold, let it go. Halfway lift, look up, look forward. Exhale, option here, yogis, if you want to crow pose, hands down, bend your knees, find your crow pose for just a moment, and then you can hop it back for your vinyasa. Otherwise, just step, step vinyasa, your choice, your flow, your way. As you arrive in your downward facing dog, my friends, let go of an exhale. Empty, empty, empty. Good. Inhale, fill yourself up. Exhale, let yourself go. We start to move a bit more fluidly. Inhale, reach your right toes up and back behind you. Keep your hips square. Just like before, slide your knee into your nose, pick up your belly, listen closely. Cross right ankle over left thigh, figure four downward facing dog. Think of pulling your right knee back towards your left heel and then lifting your left butt up towards the sky. Press into your palms, scoop up through your belly. Bring your right knee in towards your nose and then quietly step your foot in between your thumbs. Listen up, slide your left knee down onto the mat. Keep your left toes tucked. Reach both arms up towards the sky on Janayasana, low crescent lunge. Two 90 degree angles between your right knee, your left knee, your hips, and your ankles. You're finding the tuck of the left toes up. Press up through your fingertips, inhale. Reach the ribs out of the hips. As you exhale, cactus, opening the elbows wider than the collarbones. Good, from here, interlace your knuckles behind your back. Roll your shoulder heads behind you, punch into the ground beneath you. Use the strength of your core yogi, start to tilt your heart forward, keeping that clasp of your fingers. Use the strength of your inner thighs, press into your right heel, float the left knee off the ground. Keep the engagement of your fingers, keep pressing back through your knuckles, keep reaching forward through your heart. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Yogi, keep your legs where they are, gently release the fingers, powerful lunge. Keep engaging those triceps. As you inhale, reach both arms up towards the sky, high crescent lunge. Sink into the bend of the right knee, press into the right heel, straighten the right leg. Exhale, peel open wide to warrior two. Right arm is forward, left arm is back. Good. Keep extending, extending through your fingers, tuck through your tail, lift through your low belly. Keep your right knee stacked over your right ankle, take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Flip it, reverse it, peaceful warrior up and over. As you exhale, cartwheel, both hands down to the ground. Step your right foot back in space. Travel through your vinyasa. Find your flow. All right, you guys, second side, just like that. Big breath in. Big breath out. Left heel up and back behind you. Square up the hips. Slide your left knee in toward your nose. Hollow up the belly. Cross ankle over thigh. Figure four downward facing dog. Left knee pulls back. Right heel melts down, right butt bone lifts as high as it can go. Pull your left knee in towards your nose, step your left foot in between your thumbs. Slide your right knee down onto the ground, keep the toes tucked, and then reach both arms up towards the sky. Good, yogis, keep driving down into your left heel. Square off your hips, left hip back, right hip forward. Pick the ribs up and out of the hips, extend up, up, up through the fingertips. Cactus open wide, bend open through your chest. Interlace the knuckles behind your back. Punch the ground away as you crack your heart even further open towards the ceiling. Big breath in. Big breath out. Lean forward with your heart. Keep reaching your knuckles behind you. Press into your left heel. Keep your left knee bent. Right knee just floats off the ground. Keep tilting your heart forward, lifting your left side belly off of your left thigh. Gently release the grip of your fingers. Powerful lunge. Fire up your triceps. Inhale. Reach your arms up high. High lunge. Sink into the bend of the left knee. Keep Pushing back through your right heel. Straighten through your left leg, inhale. Exhale, peel open wide, warrior two. Drop the ribs, pick up the low belly. Press down into the uh, pinky toe side edge of your right foot. Big breath in. And big breath out. Ooh, I'm out of breath, you guys. Flip or reverse it, peaceful breath, warrior up and over. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the ground. Step your left foot back behind you and travel through your vinyasa. Oh man. All right, my friends, we're going to take that exact 
exact same sequence, except now we're gonna start to add on a little bit more to the end. From your downward facing dog, go ahead and let go of an exhale, empty, empty, empty. Inhale, fill yourself up big and full. Exhale, let yourself go. All right, yogis, let's do it. First part through is one breath, one move. Inhale, right toes up and back behind you. Bring your knee into your nose, pick up your belly. Cross your right ankle over your right thigh for your figure four downward facing dog. Good, pull your uh, right knee back in towards your nose and then step your foot down in between your hands. Tap your left knee to the mat, reach both arms up towards the ceiling, Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge. Belly up and in, fingertips long. Exhale, cactus to open up wide through your heart. Interlace your knuckles behind your back. Punch away the air, lift up through your chest. Big breath in, big breath out. Keep your knuckles interlaced, lead forward through your heart. Pick your left knee off the ground, coming into this modified powerful lunge. Keep your triceps engaged, gently release your fingertips, powerful lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms down forwards and up, high lunge. Keep sinking down into the bend of your right knee. Pick up through your belly, square off your hips. Press into your right heel, straighten your right leg. Exhale, warrior two, open your arms up nice and wide. Flip it, reverse it, peaceful warrior, reach up and over through your right fingertips, keeping your right knee as bent as it was before. We add on from here, cartwheel both hands down, listen up. Step your left foot forward to meet your right foot, forward fold. Drop your hips, lift your arms, come back into the strength of your chair pose. Hands come to heart center, booty sinks three inches lower. We hold for three, inhale. Exhale, sit deeper. Two, heart forward. Exhale, more weight into your heels. Last one, belly up and in. Exhale to stay, press the weight down into your right heel, lift your left knee in towards your chest. Use your low belly, yogis. Figure four chair, cross the ankle over the thigh, and then sit the booty down and back. You were just here a second ago, except now you have the addition of balance. Keep deep flexion through your left foot. Keep dropping your left knee down, picking your low belly up. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. One more, my friends. Let it go. Take your left hand around your left ankle. Pull the thigh in toward, or your foot in towards your thigh. Stand up tall and proud. Take a big breath in. And take a big breath out. Yogis, this is the fun part. Reach your arms open towards the side. You're gonna spiral 45 degrees to the left so that your body is open towards the left corner of your mat. You're gonna use the strength of your core to reach your right fingertips down. As you kick your left heel to the back of the room, now you're in your half moon pose. Keep twisting forward through your right ribs just like you did in that twist we took earlier today. Keep flexing back through your left heel just like we've been doing in all these shapes. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Bend deeply into your right knee. Release into your flying warrior. Face the width of your mat. Two arms reach up towards the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, swan back, belly over thighs. Halfway lift, look up. As you exhale, crawl to the front of your mat. Step your right foot back in space. Travel through your vinyasa. Find your flow. Whew. All right, you guys, from your downward facing dog, same situation, left hand side, empty, 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 breath is out. Inhale, fill yourself up, big, full, and proud. Exhale, let it go with a sigh. You got it, my friends, left toes up and back behind you, hips stay square. Knee into nose, pick up the belly, figure four down dog, cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Pull the left knee in towards your nose, step your foot between your thumbs. Slide your right knee down. Keep your right toes tucked. Reach both arms up towards the sky. Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge. Take a great big breath in. As you exhale, open up the elbows. Cactus through the arms. Interlace behind you. Punch down. Crack the heart open. Look up towards the ceiling. Let the heart lead you. Reach the knuckles back. Reach the heart forward. Float the right knee off the mat. Belly up and in. Release the fingertips. Powerful lunge. Arms sweep up to the sky. High lunge. Sink into the bend of your left knee. Square off the hip. Press into your left heel, straighten the legs, inhale. Exhale, peel open wide, warrior two. Flip or reverse it, peaceful warrior. As you exhale, here's where we add on. Cross your, uh, cartwheel your hands down. Step your back foot forward to meet your front foot. Hips low, arms high, chair pose. Big breath in. Hands to heart center as you breathe out. Three breaths, inhale. Catch yourself up. Sit down low into your hips. Inhale, fill. Exhale, spill. One more round. Let it go. Stay low, yogis. Press into your uh, left heel. Pull your right knee in towards your chest. Cross ankle over thigh. Figure four chair. Sit your booty back down. Again, yogis, flex deeply through right foot. Drop down through right knee. 
ready. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Right hand, right ankle, my friends. Foot to the inner part of your thigh, true pose. Hands to heart center. Your foot can be on your thigh, your calf, or your foot, just as long as your right knee is opening up towards the right hand side. Pick up your heart, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. All right, yogis, like a teeter-totter, spread your fingertips wide, create a T with the body. Spin 45 degrees to the right, and then you just tilt. Keep the right foot in flexion. Reach the left hand down towards the ground. You're in your half moon pose. Keep wrapping forward with your left ribs. Keep tilting back with your right shoulder. Keep pressing into your right heel. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. Slow, soft landing, my friends. Fly your warrior. Both arms reach up towards the sky. Big breath in. As you exhale, swan dive over your legs. Wide legged pull. Big breath in pulls you up. Exhale, melt you heavy. Crawl to the front of your mat, low lunge. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Travel through your vinyasa. Whew. All right, my friends, we got a little bit of time. We have enough time to take it one more round and add on one last piece. This is the last time you're going to do it on the right and on the left. Two second water break. If you need to come down onto your knees, take a sip of water, towel off, do what you need to do, do that now. We'll take three breaths to reset. We'll take the sequence one more time and then we'll start to cool things down from there. Wherever you are, yogis, let go of an exhale unless you're drinking water. Empty, empty, empty. Inhale, fill yourself up big and full. Press it out, let it go. Two more. Let it out. Take another big breath in. And exhale, make some noise. All right, my friends, this is it. Hands down, booties high, downward facing dog. Let's do it together. From your downward facing dog, kick your right heel up and back behind you. Bring your knee into your nose, scoop up through your belly. Cross ankle over thigh, figure four, downward facing dog. Inhale, knee into nose. Step your foot in between your thumbs. Tap your left knee to the ground. Keep your toes tucked, both arms reach up. Breathe in. Exhale, cactus open wide, fan through your heart. Interlace your knuckles behind your spine. Punch further down to open up through your chest. Knuckles back, heart forward. Use your belly to lift your left knee off the ground. Release the fingers, fire up the triceps. Inhale, arms sweep up high, crescent lunge. Heel down, legs straight, breathe in. Warrior two, breath out. Sink into the bend of your right knee. Flip it, reverse it. Peaceful warrior, reach up and over. Exhale, cartwheel, two hands down to catch the ground. Step the left foot forward, meet the right foot. Drop the hips low, reach the arms high, chair pose. One big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center, one big breath out. Press into your right heel, lift the left knee in towards your chest. Cross the ankle over the thigh, figure four chair, booty six down and back. Pick up your heart, breathe in. Pull your right hip back in space, breathe out. Left hand, left ankle, bring the foot to the inner part of the thigh, tree pose, three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Two more. Let it go. Last one. Exhale. Arms open wide to a T. 45 degrees to the right. Tilts you into your half moon. Whoop. Almost made you fall. That's all right. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Slow, soft landing. Fly your warrior. Here's where we add on, my friends. One last little bit. Arms up to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, fold. Belly over thighs. Pick up your heart. Inhale. Listen closely, yogis. Crawl to the back. Find your low crescent lunge, left knee bends. Right hand is on the ground, lift your left arm to the sky. Take a big juicy twist to the left, and then stack your joints, finding your side plank pose. Right hand is down, left hip bumps up. Tilt your left shoulder back, maybe you float the left leg off, maybe you bend the left knee into your tree pose. You hold for five, four, three, Two, you can keep your leg in tree pose. Come to tree pose, plank pose. Halfway down, tree pose, chaturanga. Flip your toes, upward facing, regular move. Roll over your toes, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, yogis, empty, 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 empty. Inhale, exhale. All right, my friends, let's do it all again. Left toes up and back behind you. This is your last round. Left knee into nose, cross the ankle over the thigh, figure four, downward facing dog. Inhale, knee into nose, quietly step your foot in between your thumbs. 
Right knee taps down, both arms reach up, Anjaneyasana, pick up the belly. Exhale, cactus open wide. From here, yogis, interlace the knuckles, punch down, crack the heart open, look up. Tilt the heart forward, punch back, lift the back knee off the ground. Powerful lunge, fingertips extend behind you. Fingertips reach up to the sky, inhale. Press into the heel, straighten the left leg. Warrior two, peel it open wide. Flip it, reverse it, peaceful warrior up and over. As you exhale, cartwheel, two hands down towards the ground. Step your right foot forward to meet your left foot forward, fold. Drop your hips, open up your arms, find your chair. Big breath in. Hands to heart center as you breathe out. Weight down into your left foot, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Cross your ankle over your thigh, figure four chair. Belly in, booty back. That's it, you guys. Right hand, right ankle, tree pose. Connect the foot to the inner part of the thigh. Three breaths, inhale. Any variation you choose, my friends. Exhale. Two more. Let it go. Last one. So strong, my friends. Fingertips extend out wide, 45 degrees to the right. Pick up your belly, tilt into your half moon pose. Woo, keep flexion, big breath in. The flexion helps the balance, take a big breath out. Good, from here, fly warrior, big stretch up towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, belly over thighs, fold it. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crawl to the front of your mat. Your right foot should be forward. Press your left hand down, reach your right arm to the sky, take a big juicy twist. Spin onto your left hand, stack your right foot on top, find your side plank pose, left shoulder over left wrist. Maybe you come into a, uh, what's this called? Side plank with a tree. Take a big breath in, take a big breath out. One more yogis. Keep the tree if you have it, find your tree pose, plank pose. Keep the tree if you have it, tree pose, chaturanga. Release the tree, flip up, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, hips up and back. Downward facing dog, my goodness. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Come back to your body, come back to your strength, come back to your breath. Take another big inhale. Take another big exhale. Right heel up and back, yogi, big breath in. Bend your knee, open up your uh, hip, slide your shin forward, come into your pigeon pose. Oh man, good job you guys. All right. Pigeon pose. We've been here at the start of class, but now our hips are super duper open and juicy. You can start to fold yourself down. If pigeon pose does not feel good for you, you know what to do. Lay on your back. You find your recline figure four, just like we did at the start of class, just like we did all throughout class as well. Five breaths. Pigeon pose. Really starting to slow yourself down. And then the next song is a little bit upbeat. If you're following along with my playlist, you could switch it over to Take Me Home by Vala, or you can just let it play through. It really doesn't matter. Up to you. Three more breaths wherever you are, yogis. Really start to sink down into the mat, softening through your shoulders, relaxing everything inside. Take a big breath in. A big breath out. Beautiful, you guys. Slowly start to crawl yourself up and out of your right side pigeon. Do whatever you need to do to shake out that right leg. Maybe it's a down dog, maybe it's a couple cat cows, maybe you kick the leg up to the sky and fling it around a little bit. Anything that feels good to you. We'll meet together in our last downward facing dog. Just taking a moment to notice the difference between right and left side. Where you're feeling a little bit more open, where your breath is really finding its ability to flow. And then left toes up and back behind you. Good, bend your knee, open up your hip. Swing your left shin forward and through, finding your pigeon pose on the left hand side. Pick up and out of your hips to tilt your heart forward, yogis. Allow yourself to soften into some form of relative stillness. See if you could use your breath as an anchor to control your thoughts so that if they seem to drift somewhere else, you can bring them back to your body in the present moment. Now I'm inhaling. Now I am exhaling. 
exhaling. Five full deep rounds. Take one more big breath in wherever you are. One big juicy breath out. Good. Slowly start to crawl yourself all the way up and out, yogis. Do whatever you did on the right to shake out the left. And then however you want to get there, my friends, just find a tall, comfortable seat at the center of your mat. Take a moment and really take all the flesh, all the junk out from underneath your butt bones. Kick your heels out long in front of you. As you breathe in, sweep your fingertips up towards the sky, high prayer. As you exhale, bow over your thighs forward. Your hands do not need to touch your feet. Focus on lengthening your spine up instead of rounding your spine down, yogi. So even if your knees are bent, I would rather you look something like this than look something like this. Yeah? Feet are nice and flexed. Booty is reaching back. Fold as far as you can go. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Tuck your chin into your throat to ripple your spine all the way up. Step the soles of your feet onto the ground. Bring your soles of feet together. Open your knees up nice and wide. Allow gravity to peel your knees nice and open. Bring your hands onto your ankle bones and then think chin to throat, forehead to soles of feet. This time, you're rounding your spine forward and peeling your knees nice and wide for Baddha Konasana. Take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Let it go. Let yourself roll all the way up, yogis. Close your knees together like the pages of the book. Bring your soles of feet onto the ground. Reach your fingertips forwards. And then one vertebra at a time. Start to ripple yourself all the way down to lay flat on your back. As you arrive on your back, my friend, friends, plural, pull your knees in towards your chest. Rock and roll from side to side. Good. Slide your knees over towards the right hand side. Press your left shoulder down, find a twist. Coming back to all the same postures that we took at the start of class so that you can begin to notice how much your body has changed, how you had the power and the control over yourself. Take a big breath in, take a big breath out. Slowly come all the way back to center, my friends, arms around shins, and then when you're ready, knees to the left, right shoulder pressing down onto the mat. Take another full inhale, a big deep exhale, one more in, and one last one out. Come all the way back to center, yogis, one last round, Pull your knees into your armpits. Flex your heels up towards the sky. We took half happy baby at the start of class. Now we take a full happy baby. Flex those heels up, up, up towards the ceiling. Pull your knees down into the crevices of your armpits and then take a big juicy inhale, feeling the outer parts of your belly on the inner parts of your thigh. That's how big I want your belly to be. Take a big breath in. Exhale, stick out your tongue. Ha! Lion's breath, two more like that. Inhale, fill it up, fill it full. Let all the junk go. Ha! Last one, yogis. Inhale, big deep breath in. Make some noise, let it roar. Ha! Pull your knees in towards your heart. Wrap your arms around your shins. Thank your body for all of its strength, for all of its movement, for stepping onto your mat today and taking this time for yourself. And then my friends, go ahead and extend your legs out long. Rest your arms open by your side. And for the next two minutes, we'll soften into stillness together. Final Shavasana.
yogis slowly begin to deepen your breath. Start to brush the thumb against the pad of each finger. Start to bring a gentle wiggle into both of your toes. Rock your head from side to side. And then one knee at a time, go ahead and grab your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself one last little squeeze. Slide your knees over towards the right hand side. Press your left hand down. And then in your own time, come up to a tall, comfortable seat. Keeping your eyes closed, allowing your spine to stack nice and tall. Let your palms face open on your laps, my friends, and then together we gather our hands to touch. We lift our thumbs to our third eye and we bow ourselves down and forward. Proud inside of our hearts, but humble inside of our bodies because of our practice. In gratitude of our strength, our movement, our effort, our energy for stepping on your mat today, yogis, and taking this time for yourself. With so much gratitude, namaste. Thank you guys so much. <sighs> That's all I got. If you want to chill in your shavasana for a little bit longer, do that. If you have to go back to work, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but there's so many other great classes happening here on Chelsea Pierce's app. Uh, Instagram Live, as well as on Zoom. So just go ahead and uh, check out what's happening. We post about it on Instagram. I hope wherever you are, you are staying healthy and happy and um, maybe not happy, but healthy and safe at the very least. Um, great job, I think, I assume. You guys did amazing. I couldn't see, but I could feel it. Um, have a great day, you guys. If you want to chat with me or have any questions about what we did or anything that's going on in your bodies, just uh, hop onto my Instagram. It's tagged right here, amexano, and I will chat with you on there. Otherwise, I'm going to log off or else Instagram's going to kick me off. So have a great day, you guys. Bye.